article was read legislation from ASPCA.org. More than 700 cities in the United States have enacted the read legislation law. Now, how many of us here have pets? And more specifically, how many of us here have dogs? Now, how would you feel if you had your dog taken away from you due to the read legislation law in your state? Hi, my name is Alyssa Latera, and I know what it's like to have your dog taken away from you due to previous irresponsible owners and the specific breed of the dog. Today, I'm going to explain what the breed legislation law is and why I believe it should be banned in the United States. According to the article What is Breed Legislation from ASPCA.org, the breed-specific legislation law can be defined as a blanket term for laws that either regulate or ban a certain breed of dog in an area in order to decrease dog attacks on humans and other animals. Some may argue that this law is a rightful law. However, it discriminates against certain dogs and there is zero evidence that it has made humanity safer since the law has been enacted. Now, the first problem with this law is that it is an unfair law which affects certain dog breeds for no specific reason. According to the article Stop BSL from StopBSL.org, these laws require the owners of a specific breed of the dog who has been banned in that state to keep the dog on a constant muzzle, have the dog on a leash whether they're going for a walk or staying in the house, the owner must keep the dog locked in a cage or a kennel. The dog must wear a vicious dog tag on its collar or outside the house. And the owner also must purchase liability insurance on themselves and the dog. Now the second problem with this law is that it only considers the dog's appearance. So for example, if I have Pitbull 1 and Pitbull 2. Pitbull 1 was trained to be a family friendly dog and he loves to be played with. However, Pitbull number 2 was trained by an irresponsible owner to be a dog fighter and to be violent. And just because Pitbull 1 has the same physical features as Pitbull 2, Pitbull number 1 will also be seen as violent and as a dog attacker just because Pitbull 1 looks like Pitbull number 2. And that is not fair. This law needs to be banned because it is costly. It costs our government money, it costs animal shelters money, and it costs the owners of specific dogs money. It punishes the responsible owners of the dog, but it does not punish the irresponsible owners of the it also makes dog breeds such as pit bulls and German shepherds more targetable to owners who want to use the dog for violent and irresponsible acts. It also requires every single dog to be seen as a dog breed, which is very difficult to do. And lastly, no canine welfare in the United States supports this law and what it believes in. So now that I've discussed why we need to ban this law, let's talk about effective ways that we can ban this law. To eliminate the effects of the breed-specific legislation law, we need effective ways to get rid of this law for good. From the article, 10 facts about BSL and what you can do to stop it from OneGreenPlanet.org, we can help by expressing our opinions. Talk to your local state representative or talk to your local animal shelter about how you feel about this certain law. You can have your dogs spayed or neutered. According to ASPCA, 70% of dog bites occur from dogs who have not been neutered or sprayed. You can also educate people. Many people say they are animal lovers, and they are. However, they've never heard of this law. And if they do hear about it, you both can join an anti-BSL group together and have your voices heard. Another easy solution is for you to adopt or foster a pet. That way you can train them the responsible and right way, and they can grow up to be loved and friendly like they're supposed to be. We can also find alternatives. An alternative would be something that we can do or something we would have instead of having this law which is affected dogs. So from the article alternatives from stopbsl.org, we can prevent dog fighting and dog attacks in our neighborhood. If you see in your community that there is dog fighting and dog attacks going on, you can call the cops or you can call your local animal shelter to help you and they will stop all the fightings and the violence going on in your neighborhood. You can also educate the children around you. You can teach children about animal safety and when and when is not the appropriate time to pet a dog. We can also lower the cost of veterinarians and getting your dog spayed or neutered in your area. Taking your dog to the vet has become a very expensive thing. Therefore, many owners don't take their dogs to get neutered or spayed. However, if we lower the cost, more owners will take their dog to the vet and the amount of people that get bitten by dogs who have not been neutered will then decrease. We can also prevent irresponsible owners, such as violent people and people who have been in prison for violence. We can stop them from purchasing these dogs and using them for irresponsible rude things. Lastly, we can also regulate the people who are breeding these dogs. We can make sure that they're being bred the right way and being trained responsibly in the shelter. Here, I will show you a picture of the United States. According to this picture, 18 states in the United States have already prohibited this law from being enacted 
in your state. However, 27 states have not done anything about it, which means that this law can be pro cannot can still be enacted in their city and their state. And only six states have considered banning it, which means they can go either way, which is why we need to have our voices heard and make sure that this law does not spread anywhere else. So now that I've discussed how we can ban this law and why we need to ban it, let's talk about what our world will look like if we do ban this law, but what our world will also look like if we don't ban this law. Imagine a world where there is no dog fights and no dog attacks. You can cross the street and not be scared of the pit bull if he's going to bite you, and you can look at a German Shepherd the same way that you would look at a Golden Retriever or a Chihuahua or a Poodle. You will no, be putting, there will be no more putting dogs to sleep in shelters. All dogs will be treated the same. But if we don't ban this law, there will be dire consequences. In early September, a lady in Montreal, Canada was attacked by one single pit bull who was raised irresponsibly and raised to be violent. He killed her from just attacking her. And because of that, all pit bulls in Montreal, Canada are banned. And if you have a pit bull in your house and you don't sign that certain contract, your pit bull will be sent to the shelter and he will be put to sleep with all the other pit bulls in the shelter. If we don't ban this law in America, that can happen here. Our dogs could be put to sleep. We can lose our dogs and abusive owners will get to keep the dogs and keep using them for these unfair acts that they are committing. So now that I've discussed what our world will look like if we ban this law, Let's go over what I've said today. Today I've told you what the breed legislation law is, why we need to ban it, how we can ban it, and what our world will look like if we do ban it. Like I said before, banning this law will provide many animals with safe shelters and safe homes. How would you feel if your dog was taken away from you due to this unfair law that's affecting specific dogs for no reason? Now, I'll conclude with an anti-breed 